Hey everybody, this is another episode of I Heart Street Art with Sister Sarah Brown. And I'm up here on the Williamsburg Bridge and it is so fantastic up here. Um, if you have not yet walked across either from Manhattan, Manhattan to Williamsburg or Williamsburg to Manhattan, um, do yourself a favor. Uh, it's one of the most beautiful little walks. Or ride your bike. It's fantastic to ride your bike over here as well. Um, but you just get high up over the city. has amazing views. Usually good air. Um, clean air. Right now it's super humid and foggy and you can't see the view at all. <laughs> and I'm going to show that to you. But also I'm up here because the street art on the bridge is fantastic. I've been shooting a bunch of stills and I've gotten up here at the very apex of the bridge um, and there's this walkway and it just is um, absolutely gorgeous and I am going to share it with you my fabulous viewers and um, first of all though I'm going to show you how you can't see anything because it's so humid and foggy today. Um, welcome summer. I totally love it. I have no complaints. Uh, just as long as it's not cold, I am a happy camper. So let's check out the non-view and check out some real kick-ass uh, street art here on the Williamsburg Bridge in NYC. All right. So first of all, look, Manhattan has disappeared. Usually when you're up here, I mean, you can kind of see it a little bit. But especially at night, it's really magical fairyland. And um, you can't see anything today. But that's okay because... Dun, da, 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 check this out. This is why we're here. And I think it's just absolutely amazing. It's like this uh, tag haven and sticker delight all mixed together. And then there's um, some really just bam, bam, uh, paintings, drawings, whatever, throw-ups down there at the end. And uh, why don't we just take a looky-loo. There's all this stuff all over the sidewalk as well. As I've been walking up the bridge, I've taken like 45 minutes just taking a bunch of different photographs. There's so much cool street art on this bridge. I really dig it. But we're just going to look at this one little section. Um, because it is dense. There is a lot going on here. And I'm just going to point out a few things. But first of all, why don't we do a little circle overview. So you can get a feel for how much is going on here. And the trains are coming. And the bridge is rocking and rolling. And life is happening and art is happening and we are blessed to be able to experience all of that yeah so you can just see bam 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 sticker 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 bam 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 sticker 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 that could be my new little dance and song the band sticker song um yeah there's just all i mean it's like yo don't forget to live like you Okay, dude, I won't. Free. Yes. It's a mind thing. Freedom is a mind thing. Then, kitten. So cute. Little truck. Dig it. And all this great swirly color. It's been here forever. I mean, this whole walkway is an installation unto itself, and I just love it. I mean, you've just got these straight, straight lines behind it. Um, Williamsburg Bridge is very um, institutional bridge. I mean, it's like grid work, you know, rivet holes, bah, bah, bah. And, um, and then you got all this amazing street art. I think there's more street art on this bridge than like on the Brooklyn Bridge or the Manhattan Bridge. This is the Williamsburg Bridge. It's been designated the street art bridge as far as my experience has been. And I really dig it. Again, subverting the environment. Uh, it just is really kick-ass. It makes it much more interesting to have this really gray monochrome background and then just this freedom and splashes of color and the individual human spirit. Um, you know, it's just a really good allegory for that in general is how we've created this society that wants us to be 
uniform and the same and on the grid, but then it's like, hell no, I'm a sticker. I'm a tag. I'm a piece of color. I'm a human being. So, you know, wax wax. Sister Sarah Brown style. State of the world today. You come up here and you decide for yourself, is this freedom? Or is this just a bunch of scribbles? <laughs> oh, there's one. Oh, here it is. Yeah, this just kind of broke my heart. Check this out. It says here, talk to her if you only knew. And this is combination, the black and the white on the red on this round thing. The poetry of it really moves me. And then it continues on up here this camera will allow us to see it. It says, talk to her up in the sky with all this cool grid work all the way around it. And then come around the corner. And then here's this secret beautiful thing. If you only knew. And it's just so beautiful right here. You have to look up. And that's the thing with street art kids. You have to look up, down, all around because it's, it has, a lot of times I see street art, especially with the word and the poetry tags, um, the location um, also gives it depth and meaning and strength. Like this, if you only knew, with the sky in the background and all these steel beams. I mean, it's just, it's beautiful right there. It just, it sinks, so. Yep, look around. Jump up, jump up, jump up, down. And we'll just end it over here. I mean, there's so much more. But I love these three pieces. They're just really childlike and poppy and bam bam color. And, um, you know, behind is Brooklyn and Lower Manhattan. And it's just a really good place for these three pieces of street art. And, um, I dig it a lot. So, Williamsburg Bridge, come up, check it out. It's ever changing, ever evolving, ever revolving. Uh, you know, check out what's going on on the sidewalk, check out what's going on up on all the, uh, you know, the grid work and all that stuff. It's just really, I sure do like it, Sister Sarah Brown says. So, um, have an absolutely righteous day and